Alright, um, what's up everyone? Uh, it's been a while. Uh, Arif here. Today I'm gonna try to do a very brief review of the uh, Alien Cinema Cat. Um, uh, there's a lot of things happen for me in the collecting world. Um, I'm not gonna um, say everything in this video. Uh, maybe when I have the time to do a, a, a video regarding my decision of the collecting uh, madness <laughs> I will keep you guys informed through one of these days we'll see so um, I'm just gonna alright this is uh, my kind of recent haul I kind of get got this like last month or something like that I can't really recall or was it last two months uh, it's the alien cinema cat by uh, uh, ECC or Cinema Cat, I, I'm not too sure. I think they both work together in the same company. So, this is the one third scale, uh, one third scale big chap alien Cinema Cat. Um, it was approved by Giga and um, and the 20th Fox Century. Um, so they kind of collaborate together to to uh, produce this piece. Um, it's uh it's pretty huge this is the base it comes with the uh a plaque here very nice alien uh insignia on the front and the base there's a little uh, wear and tear i say kind of battle damage ish but i'm not sure if it's only mine comes this way or every other piece uh, as well because this is the only piece I've seen in person and yeah I, I'm not sure whether the rest has the same kind of uh, quality production to it but um, yeah like I said it, this this base is huge just look at my hand size here look at the base it's pretty 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 big pretty big so uh, as usual, at the back of this base, the bottom of the base, there's like a um, like any sideshow pieces. There's numbers. Um, I can't remember what mine is. Probably around three hundred plus. Um, the production says one thousand worldwide, but I'm not too sure whether it's really one thousand or maybe they just release five hundred. There's always this debate about the uh, edition size when it comes to Cinema Cat, like the uh, Predator. Uh, Predator Cinema Cat is stated as 1000 I believe they only release less than 500 so you have no actual proof or maybe there is I'm not too sure that this guy the edition size is true so let's just get back to the uh, statue itself let me just close up with the leg let's just start off with the leg it's pretty uh, amazing detail how they managed to put it through Look at that. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. I just love how these kind of things, you see all these uh, kind of scratches or is it acting act like a slime or something? I have no clue what they are trying to do here but to me I think it portrays like a a worn out slime or battle damage it's everywhere on the body actually so it doesn't give that a plain looking statue there's textures everywhere pretty amazing okay first of all if you compare this to uh, the big chap from Sideshow Collectibles um, Okay, first of all, the pose is different and the uh, color wise, the paint job wise is very, very different because uh, on the uh, big chap from Sideshow, it has a little bit of greenish gray tone to it. While this guy from the Cinema Cat has uh, more of a, a darker feel to it, like almost black, or should I say it is black and a tint of bronze. Maybe there's a pinch of green as well, as you can see here. 
so this color is like green bronze and black together which i think they look pretty cool this is the hand size compared to mine it's pretty huge pretty huge the details on this guy is just absolutely gorgeous man it's stunning really as you can see that uh, yeah like i said these kind of things are everywhere on the statue itself pretty pretty cool piece i'm gonna i i will turn it around and give you guys a proper uh angle view of every single sites so yeah as for now we just deal with this pretty epic stuff there's way too many things to talk about but i try to limit myself as to the uh the important ones like i said the uh textures are just amazing especially the dome looks really really good and another thing it comes with the uh, uh sorry a chrome teeth sorry guys as you can see and that is amazing one thing i kind of the color of the uh, the inner mouth looks too bright yellow kind of color to it and it looks pretty um kind of weird because everything is everything here is black and except for the dome but the mouth kind of I, I think it needs to be a little bit darker and besides that everything is cool the chrome teeth really speaks out man it's it's really really gorgeous so there you go that's the dome you can't really see the skull because it's been blocked up with block off with this uh, black paint um, well, the dome is huge, size comparison with my hand here. There you go, it's, he's pretty huge, almost the size of my uh, arm here. Like I said, oh, let me have to stand up here. The detailing on this guy is just amazing. The bronze is how clever they combine all the colors together and make it work, you know pretty amazing let me just up close of the uh, rib area just look at that amazing you know what guys I have a light here at the bottom of the uh, statue so it kind of uh, lights up from the bottom and it kind of gives out extra details of this statue so uh, lighting is really important in this kind of statue especially it's so dark you want to see all the details you want to um how do you say exaggerate the details you gotta have a light shown from below it does look good too from the top but um not much really detailed um textures can be seen if it's from the top so i would suggest from the bottom All right this guy heights about I don't know around 28 29 inches tall um, what else he's not that heavy he's he's a hefty weight to it I I, I don't want to say that this guy is light but he has a really good uh, weight to it which is really cool so uh, let me just show you guys the back side of the uh, statue let me just turn this if a single hand which I shouldn't be doing that um, it's pretty hefty so yep this is the back all right this guy comes with uh, one two three four five six pieces which is the base the tail two arms the dome and the body itself 
so everything is attached by magnet um not really everything the body itself connected by a very big pack as well as the uh the tail the two arms are magnetized and the head is kind of just a squarish kind of pack or maybe there's magnet to it <clears throat> i don't know so yeah i'm gonna show you guys the uh back let me see if i can just yeah pretty amazing piece let's look at the uh details here it's pretty cool amazing amazing job by the uh, sculptor and especially giga uh, rest in peace unfortunately he's no longer around anymore and that's pretty sad because his works are really amazing it's out of this world i love every bit of this alien um, Thanks to him, we have Alien Warrior and Dog Alien and all that. So um, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome feeling to have this guy in your collection. Cause uh, I am personally, I'm a really huge fan of Giga. Um, rest in peace, man. You did great. Your contribution to this world is just epic. So uh, yeah. So this is the pi oh shit I forgot to show you guys one really cool thing about this cinema cat the back of the base let me if, 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 I just I don't want to drop this I really don't so um, there you go that's the money shot right there HR Giga signature at the back of the base pretty sweet That signature is a gem right now, uh, right after his passing. So um, it's kind of cool to have this piece really. In my opinion, this is one of the most valuable stuff I've ever owned. Um, it's a really, really sick piece. And to be approved by the man himself and 20th Fox, ultra coolness ultra sick so this is the uh, one side of the head and check out the dome this is my hand it's a little bit of size reference pretty cool dome um, perhaps maybe it's too transparent to me uh, as from the movie it is kind of not so transparent it's kind of almost opaque kind of um, you can barely see what's inside but as for now um, you can you can't say much because this was approved by Giga himself maybe there's a uh, in cop um, they work kind of brainstorm between 20th century Fox and Giga um, uh, collaboration so hence maybe that's why the dome is created this way um, you want to see what's inside, right? Yeah. You can be all, can go, you know, movie accurate or sometimes it doesn't have to because you need to see the details, you see. Hope you <laughs> kind of understand what I'm trying to say, but. So, yeah, this is the uh, aliens. Uh, you know what? That's the most detailed dick I have ever seen. <laughs> Look at that, it's like a, a mouth and a two eyes and a mouth. And, yeah. Right, so uh, next, this is the, uh, i show you guys the rib. As you can see, the bronze finishing, which is really, really cool. You can't really see without the light because this guy is too dark. So yeah guys, this is the uh, Alien Cinema Cat. I think the pose is awesome. Let's look at the pose here. I think it's great. It captures the uh, the uh, 
how do you see it? The character of the alien. Pretty cool looking. I wasn't really fond of the uh, legs because he yeah, looks like um, Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk thingy. <laughs> but it's all cool. It looks, it looks, it fits. Really, it, it fits the pose. Uh, I have no complaints about that. So uh, he also came with a certificate of authenticity, but it's way up there in the box. So I'm not going to get that thing out. So yeah, guys, this is the uh, Alien Cinema Cat. Um, a very brief review, I know it's like 15 minutes now, but um, I wish to talk about this for days, but I can't do that. So uh, maybe I left out something about this piece, um, I apologize about that, but really if you are looking into having Giger's Alien, um, an accurate piece... I shouldn't say accurate because uh, this guy was approved by the uh, Giga himself in the 20th Century Fox. I have to express that over and over again because people keep complaining this is not screen accurate, this is uh, this is rubbish, a waste of money, blah blah blah. Yep, it is expensive. This piece is really expensive because uh, it's, it's, it's designed by the man himself. So... Yeah, if you can't afford this, um, be sure to grab Big Chap Maquette by Sideshow. Now, that guy is awesome too. Um, not as detailed as this guy, but the post is kind of cool on Sideshow Big Chap. I kind of like it. So, yeah, I think that's about it. And I'm doing a... I'm going to have a Predator Cinema Cat real soon. A friend of mine is bringing in from Indonesia. So, that piece will be next for me to do a very brief review and a very sad story after I receive the uh, Predator Cinema Cat because I'm planning to quit collecting and just settle for Alien and Predator Cinema Cat so uh, I guess you guys know, some of you guys know, some of you guys are clueless I'm not on YouTube that much but yeah that's my plan I'll be, I'll elaborate furthermore regarding my plans for the future yeah so that's about it. Take care, guys. Peace.